Aquarius, we're going to do a reading today um, that will uh, chronicle what your person wants to say to you. So we're going to see what the situation is now, what they want to say to you, how, they, how they're feeling. Um, also, we'll pick up on some of your energy too, Aquarius. So if you care about maybe knowing about what a person that you're dealing with or um, maybe a past person is thinking, how they're feeling, stay tuned for the reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and bless the reading with a prayer. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every Aquarius with a clear, concise message. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see. Um, Aquarius, let's see what your person, what their situation is now, what they're going through now. What is the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? What are they going through? What is the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? What are they going through? Oh, they don't want to tell you. I'm just shuffling. No cards are popping out. This person probably doesn't want to talk to you. They, they don't want you to know what's happening with them. They may be acting like everything is all good, especially if you have a window into their life, i.e. social media. Um... Maybe you still talk to this person. Okay, yep, I knew it. The strength card. So they're holding back. This card can sometimes talk about when someone has a lot of emotions for you, but they, they feel the need to hold back. Maybe they don't feel safe letting you know. They don't feel safe telling you what's uh, going on with them or expressing their emotions. Um, they're taming themselves, their emotions. There's a lot of intimate connection, intimate conversations they want to have with you, but uh, maybe they feel like they can't. They shouldn't. Um, it is taboo. Uh, they feel like there needs to be forgiveness. You know, um, and, and truth spoken. Truth, forgiveness, and compassion. They could also feel like you need to be truthful. You need to be more compassionate in your speech and how you talk to them. This card is directly related to the star card also, which is the Aquarius card. So it looks like they want to have reconciliation. They want to re have rejuvenation, come back together, get back on the right path. But they feel like there's a need to hold out or tame themselves, hold back uh, for whatever reason. There's a lot of, they're trying to create this illusion, this mystery surrounding themselves. Like, like you don't know or you can't feel that they want to talk to you. They want to be around you. But I think the Aquarius is good at picking up on that energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. You do not have to be, but that's the card for Leo. All right, let's see what this person wants to tell you, Aquarius. What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What does this person want to tell? Okay, all right. So they said shift gears. Let's see how the Aquarius is feeling. How does Aquarius feel? How does Aquarius feel about this particular individual? How does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel? Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. So you both have eights because the, um, the strength card is an eight. So this card talks about feeling no way about maybe a love connection because you're working. You're doing a lot of work, overtime, overworking, workaholic, working on yourself, uh, working on your fitness. You also don't feel like maybe you've given too many chances in this connection. Therefore, it's just easier. It's best to focus on you work on your craft or work on your business this is when you first start a business right and you need to you need to do all the work you know you're wearing so many hats um you're just trying to get it to some self-sustaining energy maybe where you can kind of be more hands-off not to say that you won't ever work in your business but to say that you know right now it's going to take all of your dedication your devotion you also can feel like maybe you're too invested or you were too invested uh, or the both of you were very invested in this connection but it's like a a need to um oh to divest okay so you've divested into maybe just putting all that energy effort into yourself you're not concerned about love you're being prudent with your money watching your money where your pentacles are going um what else does the eight of pentacles say over and over you know you're doing something over and over watch rinse repeat 
also there could be somebody thinking about you over and over. There's somebody listening to something over and over. It could be you, Aquarius, listening to tarot card reading over and over again. Um, if not, then, um, you know, it's the other person. Something over and over. Somebody could be looking at your picture over and over again also. Let's see what this person um, wants to say to you. Yeah, you guys have done this dance over and over again. The relationship has probably been cyclical where you guys cycle in and out of each other's lives. Yeah. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? Okay. I'm going to put those back. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? The two of pentacles. So not much of anything. Um, they're juggling. They're juggling if they should say anything, if they should come towards you. They're also thinking about um, how they will act. Because the two of pentacles sometimes is, is about putting on the act, the front. Um, something isn't all together. Therefore, you have to act. You have to be the... In medieval times, the two of pentacles talk, talks about like the court jester he was to go around and poke fun and make people laugh even in the times of famine in the times of war so it's like he was acting like he was happy acting you know with a happy countenance but there's so much going on so your person could have a lot going on with the two of pentacles they're trying to juggle maybe their finances this talks about you know um what does it talk about? Uh, of course, juggling your finances, but it talks about transferring money from account to account. It talks about profit and loss. This person also could just be weighing up the cost of maybe coming towards you. You know, uh, will they win? Will they get what they want? Um, how can they act as if they maybe are changed? The two of pentacles can sometimes talk about change. I don't know if they really changed and we'll go into that probably in the extended, but um, let's keep going. Um, what does Aquarius want to say to this person? What does the Aquarius want to say? Oh, okay. I got to take those. Those all came out. Um, oh, okay. So none of the cards are reversed, but this came out reversed. Minor wands are reversed. So you've given up waiting for this person. You've given up, um, uh, persevering in this connection, You've given up uh, looking backwards and wondering what if and what shoulda, coulda, woulda, and will this person return? You're done with looking backwards. You're looking forward. You're focused on you. You're focused on the future. Um, yeah, Aquarius, it's like you're trying to accomplish something, uh, and it's going to take speed, dedication, devotion, uh, and, it, and like time is of the essence. So it's like you don't. Um, you don't have time to waste maybe on a love situation. The Nine of Wands is he has an idea in mind. He has a goal in mind and he's going to finish that goal. You know, he's going to follow through with the conquest, whatever it may be. The death card, it's like you're really trying to uproot yourself, your life, everything. You're trying to transition from this in and out relationship, this non-committal situation. Uh, this relationship that had no stability once again where you guys cycle in and out so you want to tell your person I'm no longer looking you know backwards at the connection um, it doesn't serve me I'm focused on um, maybe some goal fulfillment here I'm focused on um, changing um, I understand the death card specifically talks about the death of a relationship so you may be saying I, I'm okay with the ending of this relationship um, it has changed me for the better, for the good. It was on death's door anyway. Now it is dead. And um, I'm okay with that because something new has transpired or is transpiring for me. Um, I have gone into transition, says the Aquarius. Um, I've moved away from this. Um, and maybe this is why this person is coming up as the two of pentacles because they kind of feel you have really shifted your focus. It's definitely not on this relationship. Uh, it's on business, it's on you, it's on home and family, it's on self-care. Uh, this is good. What is this person's next move? Well, no, we won't go there yet. Um, does this person...
person want to be does this person want to recover the relationship do they want to be back in a relationship with the Aquarius does this person want to be back in a relationship the five of ones so there, there there's inner conflict about maybe them coming back um, they also could have a lot of suitors a lot of people vying for their attention right now so that kind of causes disruption um, they could want the love affair back maybe they want to have sex with you um, they like the friskiness they like the playful banter um, they like the way maybe you chase them you gave them um, yeah you gave them a um, attention a chase so this person just wants to come in and cause it looks like disruption confusion does Aquarius want the relationship back with this person in question does Aquarius want the relationship back with the, this person in question let's see does Aquarius want the relationship back with the person in question okay the hermit card so this this would be a no uh aquarius is looking at past experience and they're saying um you know past experience is a future indicator whatever you guys did in the past is probably going to happen in the future the aquarius is listening to their inner voice they're not listening to outside energy anymore um they already know the answer to this to this relationship that you guys can't come back together is probably not for the best if not ever not right now at the bottom of the deck you guys have the devil card between the two of you it seems as if maybe this was karmic there was some lesson to learn um you both had to have your individual lesson to learn um you both feel kind of bonded stuck to one another you think about each other heavily um, the sex could have been you know mind-blowing um, you know that this is a red-hot choice and if you make the choice of this person or vice versa they feel the same way about you the both of you are going to get burned it just doesn't make sense to come back together if not now you know if not ever not now okay uh, what we're going to look at in the extended is um, what the past energy was, what's going on in this person's life right now, what's going on in this person's life right now, um, okay, let's see what's going on in this person's life, so if you want to get the extended, we're going to uh, see what's going on in this person's life now, okay going on in this person's life now all right and then we'll see what's going on in your life Aquarius and what is coming for you what's going on in a, the Aquarius life okay I just seems as if it's kind of backwards All right, so yeah, let's see what's going on. We're going to see in the extended what is going on in this person's life. Um, we're also going to see what the outcome is for this relationship. Thank you, Aquarius, for being here. Um, I hope that you took something from the reading. Get the extended if you feel moved to do so. The link is um, at the top of the um, comment section. Um, get your own personal reading. Go over to the website, book there. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Find me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask questions or just come for the collective reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.